Hi and welcome to the RCM Rocket Team. This week is the second in our series where we'll be attempting to make eight complete rockets as shown on the box from our designer special kit. This week we'll be flying and fabricating the Augie 2. I'll also leave a link down in the doobly-doo telling you where we got the instructions to put this together. Augie 2's claim to fame is that it's a two-stage rocket but it's a stack rocket meaning that it's all one body piece except of course the nose cone, um, but, and the engines are stacked one on top of the other. So, should be an interesting flight, carry on to the field, then come on back and we'll show you how we put Augie 2 together. This is Augie 2 on a C60 and a B44, and uh, firing into the overcast, I'm a little bit of trepidation, but we'll see what happens in 5, 4, 3, 2, one launch nice and straight holy cow there goes the stage and trade at apogee coming over i can still see it there goes the chute chute's not unfurling unfortunately because of the cold it's about uh minus five but it does look like it's going to come down pretty fast in the area it did actually the foot chute did not only not unfurl it didn't come out of the body tube so here it is yeah the uh Either I packed it too tight, which is entirely possible, or the humidity is high enough that uh, it kind of stuck in the tube, but no obvious damage. Obviously, I needed to be a little more careful of uh, packing Augie 2, as you can see. Whatever rookie mistakes I conducted were certainly uh, evident in a semi-melted chute, and we saw the landing. Luckily, it wasn't too hard, but there is a bit of uh, damage to the end of the body tube shouldn't be too hard to repair that but uh disappointed in myself obviously the uh the rocket flew great and uh we'll certainly be seeing it again carry on this is all the material out of the designer special kit that you need to put together augie 3. Um, i made one small change to the plans by adding this coupler at the bottom of the engine mount this allows the lower engine to uh, sit a little steadier in the uh, rocket as opposed to the various ways that the Augie uh, plans have designed it. I've also had to cut off a chunk of the smaller body tube because we'll be using that in a rocket that we'll build later. And the, uh, then we have to put uh, some supports for the outer body tube because, of course, there's the inner with, as we're seeing here, uh, with the uh, engine mount and whatnot, and the coupler, and then the stack engines get slid into it like so, and then there's an outer sleeve um, that fits over it, and the spacing is required, of course, to allow uh, air to feed in and feed that upper stage while it's going. And here's the rocket, the hero shot, and just following now will be how to do the parachutes for the kit. The designer special comes with a nice selection of parachutes, but no real way to move them simply from rocket to rocket. By use of a paper clip, we can create that on our own by gathering the shout lines here at one end and then wrapping the wire back on itself securely so it doesn't get loose and then using the open end of the clip as a hook. Same thing here with a streamer. Tie the streamer securely through the paper clip and then we'll be using the other end as a hook by tying a knot usually at the, about the midpoint of the shock cord, and we can hook the paper clip through it, and it's nice and secure and relatively quick to change. Here are the rules of the designer special challenge. Um, pretty much just everything that an average person would have lying around, nothing special, and that's the way we'll be flying our first rockets.